Yo, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the uh, ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4. Now for a short message. This video is made possible thanks to ASRock, makers of mainstream and enthusiast motherboards. Get yours now via the affiliated links in the description down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for your attention and enjoy the video. The ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard features Intel's latest B365 chipset, which is a slight upgrade over the original B360. It's suitable for all of the 8th and 9th generation Intel core processors and comes packed with a lot of features including Dual Ultra M.2 for your SSDs, as well as Intel Optane memory. It also comes with ASRock's renowned Super Alloy feature, including the uh, full coverage M.2 heatsink. Other features include the uh, support for USB 3.1, Gen 1, as well as Gen 2. It also includes the uh, USB-C connector. There's also the Gigabit LAN, as well as the M.2 connector for your Wi-Fi. And also, of course, the uh, Polychrome RGB. As far as I know, the uh, B365 chipset does not support the uh, overclocking. Uh, however, it does support uh, memory speeds of up to uh, 2666 megahertz, as well as uh, configuration for your Crossfire multi-GPU. The B365 chipset offers a total of 20 PCI Express lanes uh, compared to the 12 which you get from the B360. So it's very similar to the H370. Now, what am I expecting in performance? Uh, it should compete very well against the H370 uh, slight improvement over the B360 and uh, we'll see how it performs against the uh, Enthusiast Z390 chipset boards. So without further ado, let's put this into our test rig, build the uh, test system and uh, we'll see you later. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing. It's the ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4 with an Intel uh, B365 chipset. Okay, so we have the box. Let's take a look. Inside we have uh, an ASRock postcard, as usual. A uh, driver disk. Uh, an instruction manual. It's a quick setup guide software. This is the, the installation guide. An IO shield. A um, couple of uh, M.2 screws, uh, a pair of SATA cables, and then let's have a look at the motherboard. There we go. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. And then you have the ASRock B365. Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. It's a full size ATX. It's got this nice uh, kind of IO shield kind of here, hood. And then we have some uh, the armor heat sinks for your M.2. There's one there and one here. There's two of them. And you notice the uh, steel PCI slots. That's for your graphics card. So it uh, gives you extra. Uh, support for your graphics card. It's got this nice matte black finish and that's all part of the uh, ASRock Super Alloy design and uh, notice the motherboard has this kind of edge kind of uh, design right here uh, and sh which kind of dimples there. We have uh, four SATA ports here and then two more at the bottom right here. Uh, 8 pin power for your motherboard right here on top and uh, M.2 for your Wi-Fi, so you get additional Wi-Fi if you want to put that in there. Okay, it's got of, of course the uh, RGB header right here, four DIMM slots up to DDR4-2666 and then usual 24-pin uh, ATX power. Alright, let's have a look at the uh, connectivity. Uh, you have a PS2 
yes, keyboard mouse, USB 2, uh, there's a HDMI port, uh, display port, um, USB uh, 3.1 Gen 1, and also USB Gen 2 with the uh, USB-C connector. Uh, you have also a gigabit LAN and an array of audio connectors. So this uh, motherboard looks pretty um, good with the gaming design and uh, I think if you don't need to overclock uh, but want a, a nice stable gaming motherboard with lots of uh, nice options uh, from uh, ASRock then this is the one to go for. Alright so let's put this in our test rig and uh, build a test system and uh, we'll see how it performs against the other motherboards which we've tested including the B360 and also the H370. Okay, we'll see you later. Overall, the ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard is a good all-rounder. It performs as I expected, producing decent scores in all of our benchmarks. As I mentioned earlier, the B365 chipset is made using Intel's 22 nanometer fabrication process, as opposed to the 14 nanometers for its predecessor, the B360. So are there any real differences? Well, to be honest, there's none that I can see. It's just a way for Intel to free up some capacity for the 14 nanometer production. The truth is, the B365 chipset offers very similar features to the B360, with some differences being the, uh, the number of PCIe Express lanes, a uh, total of 20 for the B365 and only 12 for the original B360. More PCIe Express lanes means more bandwidth between the CPU and the PCIe cards. Additionally, the B365 now supports hardware RAID for PCIe and SATA drives, uh, something that was missing on the B360. What I really like about the ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4 is the design of the motherboard. It does really have a gaming feel to it. It offers two Ultra M.2 slots for SSDs with armor heatsinks, polychrome RGB, PCIe steel slots, 8 power phase design and support for Optane memory, as well as AMD Crossfire multi-GPU configuration. As far as features are concerned, the ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4 has it all so no complaints here. The downside is you don't get integrated Wi-Fi and there's no overclocking options in the BIOS and it can only support memory up to DDR4-2666. So in conclusion, the ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4 is a very capable, feature-rich motherboard that's extremely affordable. If you're after a gaming motherboard uh, suitable for Intel processors, then you may want to consider taking a look at the ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4. And there you have it, this is the ASRock B365 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard featuring Intel's latest chipset supporting all of the uh, 8th gen and 9th gen core processors. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment down below. You can actually purchase this via the Amazon links in the description and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.